Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for October 2020. If you're unfamiliar with the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, it is a $25 a month beauty subscription. You're guaranteed five full-size items and a $120 plus of value. With the Ipsy Plus, it is Ipsy's middle tier of subscription. So it's an upgrade from their regular glam bag, but it's a little bit below their ultimate. And with this subscription, you get to pick three of your items and Ipsy will pick two for you based off of your profile. First, I'm gonna show you guys what Ipsy picked for me, what I picked, and then my add-ons at the end. Real briefly, I did wanna mention if you are are new here my name is Emily or MEG whatever you want to call me and I do both a beauty and fashion content on my channel so if that sounds interesting to you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button here is the bag for the month so I kind of held it up earlier so it's got this design on it that's I think supposed to be like I, I don't know a lot about witches but I think it's supposed to be something relevant to that but I think it's super cute and I really like it and then on the back it says your magic now it is a very thin material I'm really excited to get the regular glam bag this month because that bag looks super cute. This one's cute but that other one looks better and this just has like a thinner material but it does fit all of the items in it so that's nice. So the first item that Ipsy chose for me is this. This is the Dr. Brandt Port Abrasion Exfoliant. So I do know that this is a very expensive product. However, this is just not something I'm gonna be able to use with my skin, but this has like salicylic acid in it and it has a lot of essential oils in it. Now salicylic acid is really good for people with oily skin, but I have dry skin and my skin is a little bit more sensitive. So this is just not something that I feel comfortable using with my skin. I think it would kind of like destroy it. So I'm probably gonna sell this on Poshmark. It is like a nice product to get, but it doesn't really fit my profile. So I'm not quite sure why they would send this to me. Again, I know a lot of people really like this and they'd be happy to get it, but I can't use it. So it's a little bit annoying, but like I said, I'll just sell it on Poshmark. The next item that Ipsy chose for me is this. This is from Lovecraft Beauty and this is their highlighter palette. The shades of this are Aurora and Borealis. So it's just two little highlighters. So you get a gold shade and a pink shade. And then you also get a mirror in the palette. And the packaging is nice, it is pretty. Debating if I wanna keep this or not, only because I saw a few people swatch it and they didn't look super impressive. I do love highlighters and I totally understand why Ipsy chose this for me. Now I do a try on video every month with my Ipsy products, so I might try it out in this. I'm just not gonna swatch it quite yet, just in case I don't end up keeping it. The next item is one that I chose. This is the Laura Sanchez Moods palette. I'm very excited about this because I actually almost picked this palette up. I think it was in the shop the one time. Love the outer packaging like that. That is so stinking cool. Here is the inside of the palette. So we have eight shades, two highlighters, and a brush and a mirror. There are four shimmer shades and four matte shades. So let me go ahead and swatch just a couple of these. Ooh, these are really, really creamy. Look at that blue shade. That is gorgeous. That's stunning. Look at that. That's so beautiful. So the matte doesn't feel quite as creamy, but it is very pigmented. And mattes, you know, it's really hard to tell with a swatch, but man, that shimmer is gorgeous. Let me swatch another shimmer just to see. Look at that. That's the purple shade. That is so, so pretty. These don't actually have shade names. I mean, they do, but they're emojis. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch one of the highlighters as well. Look at that highlighter. That is really pretty. I'll actually probably end up using that more on the eyes, but wow, that is really pretty. And that blue shade is stunning. I'm definitely gonna have to do a look with that. That is so beautiful. I am very excited about that. I cannot wait to test this palette out. The next item I chose is from Thrive Cosmetics. This is their Brilliant Eye Brightener Highlighting Stick. So this is like an eye brightener. I have tried this before in a different shade. This is the shade Aurora. The shade I have is Stella. I actually did a Thrive Cosmetics like brand review video because I've tried so many other products and I do really like this product. It's really, really nice. And I don't think there was anything else I really wanted it in this category so I was excited to see this and pick it up since I do like it and I actually am just about done with the Stella shade I currently have so that's the Aurora shade so this is more of like a rose gold the other shade I have is more of a champagne gold I am excited to try this out these are nice because you can use them not only as like an eyeshadow crayon or like inner corner highlight but I also like to use it on like my cupid's bow especially when I contour because I usually want more of like a severe highlight 
white when I contour so that way it like really chisels out my jawline and really chisels out the rest of my face. So using something like this will really give it that depth that I want. Very happy to have that. I know for a fact that that is $24. The last item I have is the Violet Voss Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Romantical. So this was the last item I chose. This was another category where there really wasn't anything else that I wanted. I think there were a couple lip glosses. Like I think I got one of the House Laboratory lip glosses, but it wasn't a shade I didn't really like. Like it was in like a brown shade, but this is so beautiful. Look at that. I love the shimmer and the color. I think that's gorgeous. Okay, so that's the doe foot applicator. I like this type of applicator. It makes it really easy to get to the edge of your lip. So that's it on my knuckles. So it's just like a really pretty glittery gloss. Hopefully it doesn't end up being like gritty or anything, but I do like Violet Voss eyeshadow, so I do think I'm gonna like this. I definitely like the shade. I think it's really, really pretty. So that is everything that came in my box this month. Overall, I'm really happy. I like everything I chose. You know, I know I like the Thrive Eye Brightener. The lip gloss is really pretty looking and hopefully it's not too gritty or sticky. The Moods palette looks gorgeous and I can't wait to get into that. The highlighter palette I may or may not keep. I feel like I should just swatch it for myself and make my decision because I might like it because I do like a natural highlight some days. Like I don't always like a really blinding highlight. It does look really, really pretty and I do like the blushes I got from Lovecraft Beauty. So I feel like I would like this, but I'm not 100% sure. And the Dr. Brandt I am gonna sell, that's fine. You win some you lose some it's a subscription box you're not always gonna like every item and since I'm really happy with at least three of the items I got now let's go ahead and get into my two add-ons I did this month so for my two add-ons I added on a brush because I love brushes this is the Laura makeup labs brush and this is their queen blending brush and this was a three dollar add-on I added it on because I thought it looked pretty and it looks like Halloween and that was literally all of the reasoning I needed because it's three bucks the other item I added on was from Yensa. This is their Color and Fade Tone Up Essential Glow Primer. That's the outer box. And then here's what it actually looks like. Here is the product. This was a $12 add-on. I'm excited to play with this because I do really like Yensa products. I like everything I've tried from them. And I am very excited to play with this. I love glowy primers too. That is the primer. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it definitely has like a little bit of a sheen to it. It feels very hydrating actually, kind of moisturizing which I really like because I do have drier skin. So pretty excited, makes up for the Dr. Brandt even if I had to add it on for $12. All right guys, so that is officially all of my add-ons and everything that came in my box. So let me know down in the comments below if you get Ipsy and what you got in your box this month. And also let me know what you thought of my box. I would love to hear what you thought down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up before you go and click that subscribe button if you're into beauty and fashion related content. That is all for today, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a good one. Bye guys.